folks, good morning. Welcome to another video on my channel. And it's a second Audax event of 2021. So I'm here with Chris. We are at the uh, Waverton Village Hall uh, car park for the Dan Busters 200 kilometer ride. Uh, everybody's in the car park, got a wave over there. And a lot of real people on a real event. Got Ricky Goody up there. I've spotted him already in the glasses and the, the green and orange hat, tucking into some food. So got John and I think Caroline, that's right, from uh, Crew Calarian Wheelers. Say hi, Chris. Hello. So you got you got a nice trendy uh, woolly hat on this morning. It's keeping me warm. It's a bit colder than I thought it would have been, but there you go. It is freezing, isn't it? Look at this thing here. Hey. Look at that. Wahoo. Is that a heart rate? Let's tell me if I'm going to die. Right, so we're, we're probably going to get inside a quick cup of tea, don't you think, Chris? I do. Have we I got do. time for that? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, nearly thought, oh, this is done. It is. Hi, Ricky. You all right? You recognise that voice? Out? I saw. I saw you in the car. I was like, I saw the hat. I was like, that's, that's Ricky Goody. There. Good ride So we've just left Waverton Village Hall. Can't believe it's middle of May. Absolutely freezing, but it's great to be back out riding amongst people. Feels like a little bit of normality is back again. It's finally reached the world of old axe. How are we, Chris? All right? Oh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Can't see anything, but yeah. Do 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 Do, 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 do. Oh, it's beautiful just here. So we're about uh, 10k in or something off the main roads now. Cool, Question for you guys at home. For those of you who uh, are in a Wahoo, do you know when it stops and starts and makes noises at you? It goes. Do, 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 do. do you know what it makes me think of? Well, I'll ask Chris first. What do you mean? What does it make you think of? I don't know, because mine don't do that. Does it not? No. Yeah. Are you sure you got a wahoo? Do -do 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 -do. Poppy power. power! Yeah, you got it. Okay. Finish strong. That's what I would like to hear. Yeah. So we've had one information control. And this is the first we see in Ripley. And it's, uh, it's on to Haversage next, which is about 25 miles away, something like that. It's where, there's some, it's where the hills start, get into the Peak District properly. Look at this beautiful bit of moorland. Chris? Stunning. Stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we're just about to go up there, whatever that is. It looks big, I think it looks bigger than it actually is. Yeah, it's a steady climb, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a steady one. Loving the, uh, the cap. In Orvener cap. In Orvener, mate. In Orvener. I think we'll drop a link below where you can get those. They're on Instagram, aren't they? So I don't know where we are, but this is one of the highest points of the ride so far. Going up to Cider Lead. This is why we ride bikes, for the stunning scenery. So on our way into Haversage now, the surprise hill up there, and off in the distance. Weather's been relatively kind. We had a quick stop at the last control, there was a bar, and I was like, let's get in here for some shelter. Rain jacket came on, it was short lived. Heading up Coggers Lane out of Haversage. It's a big long climb, probably one of the longest climbs of today, I reckon. We're up to Stan Standish Moor, that's right. There's a great viewpoint. In fact, if we look over, let's point the camera over, sort of 
Chris's left shoulder, look at that. That's Hope Valley, Bamford, the quarry there. I'm sure if it wasn't so dismal, we'd be able to see over towards Willis Pass, Edale, that area. Let's just jump ahead of Chris there, look at this. Check out that. That's why you ride bikes, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, defo. 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 Yeah. Been a great ride so far, we're loving it. We're loving it, loving it, loving it. We're loving it like this. Ah. It's cracking route, isn't it? Really good. It's been a great day. Bit of off-road stuff, eh? Bit of, yeah, we're a bit of gravel around the dam itself. If you're from here, you'll be familiar with it. I think uh, Chris is worried about it a little bit, but it's nothing. You'll see when we get there. Get you don't want to get dirty. It'll be fine. <laughs> We're already wet, aren't we? I'm wet, yeah. Yeah, you, can, you can't wear a northerner cap and complain about having to get dirty. I'll take it off then. It's a beautiful route, beautiful countryside this. Starting to show you what I like when we get to the top. <laughs> to turn up at Secret Control, I don't know what it is. Is it a Secret Control? It's food and drink. We just stopped in Haversage, didn't we? Chris, wherever you are. Say yes, Chris. Yeah. Say yes, Chris. Yes, we did. <laughs> the best brownies you ever There you go, you were right about the food. Yogi, yogi. Well, that's it, well done. Hide the brownies. Well done. I recommend the brownies. Hello. Hello. Lady Bower on our left. There's not a lot of traffic. I think the weather's kind of put people off. But then again, it's not even it's not been raining all day or anything. Realised it'd be quite like this. <laughs> so we're up in amongst the trees now. This is proper gravel stuff. This. I don't know if you can see uh, flashing lights going off into the distance there, but oh, this is epic. Just coming outside the other part of the Lady Bower. We're not Lady Bower, Derwent Water. Got a quick pit stop wipe down. We've got shitty houses with all the mud spray. Neither of us today came out with mud guards. It's been raining for the last 20 minutes. As you, can, as you can see, puddles everywhere. A bit dirty. Still, it's been awesome. You got a soggy bottom. It's not too bad, is it? Oh, just step back. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Oh, 
yeah. Whoa. Proper off road. It's lucky we're not racing this, isn't it? Uh, they, everybody else has gone off and we're getting the baby wires out to wipe, wipe the backside. <laughs> I really wish I brought the chest team out today because that would have been awesome showing you the uh, view along during water. It was well rocky. Yeah. Cause you're filthy Oh and gorgeous Last 70k Back to Warrington Out to the Peak District Been a fantastic day It's not over yet just heading out Bradwell. Hell of a climb. So steep. So, so steep. I think it's about the third time I've actually done this though. I came out for more. So in this ride, not much water left. There's an half a bottle. Bakewell is the next stop, excuse me. So, uh, stop there. Go for some refreshments. And off we go again. Climb like that, Chris, makes you good, feel good to be alive. Yeah. Ooh, what an effort that was. <laughs> oh. Back on the Mount Hill Trail. Was here a couple of weeks ago with uh, Karen. Did the uh, we parked up in Bakewell, Chris, and finished on the Mount Hill Trail at the end. All oh, right. Yeah, we're going through the tunnels, aren't we? That's why the giant thing is on the profile. It's not a giant hill. It's a, it's the uh, tunnel coming up. Coming out first tunnel. So we just stopped out to the, uh, of course we stopped at co-op, it's, uh, okay, you can't, it's up there somewhere anyway, we're at co-op in Bakewell and uh, getting the last stop of the day, stocking up on some water and admiring our filthy bikes. Done well today haven't we Chris? Yeah, it's been fun. Absolutely lovely. Really good. Yeah, it's been a great route hasn't it? Check this out. Not too far from Parsley Hay. We just went underneath uh, Tissington or High Peak, whichever it is. It's lovely long here, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. Got about less than 20 miles to go. Feels like a long 20, doesn't it, Chris? It does. Have a fantastic time. No, it's been really good, yeah. Really good one. Well, yeah, <laughs> out to the peaks, it always seems to last forever, that, that final bit. Not far to go, just gone through Bottom House, left the Peak District National Park, all the hills are done, there's a few rolling ones right at the end, definitely recommend this one, the Down Busters 200, I'll stick a link down below to the uh, event on the Old Axe website or the route or something like that, so you can uh, go take a look. Reach the control, time to get the uh, card stamped, Whew. where are we going? Oh, I can smell hot food. Ooh. Oh, beer. Excellent. That's it, another Audax over. As I'm leaving, I'm reminded that only yesterday did I have my second Pfizer jab. <laughs> my shoulder is seasoned up. I've had to contend with it all day long. Oh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It's been a great, great one. It, I actually found out from Sean Hargreaves, who's the organiser of this ride. It was actually the first time the, uh, the Dan Bus has been organised. So, once again, I'll drop a link down below. So, if you want to go check it out next year, I can imagine I run that again. It was really successful. God, I don't know if you can tell by the voice, but I'm actually shivering right now. Right, for me, take care. Comments, don't forget to 
hit them down, well, put them down below, hit that button, like, to, like what you've been watching, and uh, if you can, please hit the like button as well, that'd be fantastic. Right, for me, take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.